Our instant weekend brings us the sounds of tubas at Quaker Square and the sights of an international Christmas at Cleveland's Garden Center. Have you ever been a flight before the Civil War and have long been associated with the black musician? But today it's enjoyed by everyone, from the music of Sonny Boy Williamson to Paul Butterfield. Tonight on BL Magazine, though, we're traveling down to the Euclid Tavern to meet a man who's considered to be a Cleveland blues institution for the past 16 years. That's Bill Mr. Stress Miller. essence of the blues lies as much in what you say as in how you say it. And what you say in this musical style depends mainly upon what's inside you. Singing and playing the blues was something Mr. Stress always wanted to do. In 1965, when the Mr. Stress Blues Band was formed in Cleveland, few white musicians were playing the blues harmonica. Bob Dylan and Paul Butterfield were releasing recordings at that time, but with more of a folk and country blues orientation. Because Mr. Stress's biggest influences were two Chicago-based harpists, Little Walter and Sonny Boy Williamson, he took another path. These two musicians, along with his father, who was a dance band musician back in the 50s, were what shaped his own unique brand of blues. I grew up in the projects on 30th and Cedar, and in the late 50s, you can still hear a lot of blues played on the black AM stations. And my neighbors would play it, and I got really fascinated with it, and turned my back on white. You know, rock and roll, commercial rock, didn't have the feel that this stuff had to me. And so I just kept listening to blues and jazz. My voice is not best by any standards and, and uh, uh, especially to try to sing black it's almost impossible for a white performer. Some of the uh, critics in the uh, the white blues purist style will will feel that we'll never be any good. If, if I live to be 85 years old I'll never be any good because uh, I'm not black but that I just I just consider the source and let it go. Ship you home to your mother baby Honey I'll go on home too. Bill plays a few clubs in Cleveland, but every Wednesday and Saturday night, the band plays at the Euclid Tavern on Euclid Avenue, near University Circle, which happens to be the second oldest bar in Cleveland. The band includes Ray DeForest on bass, Nick Tranchito on drums, Mike Sands on keyboards, and Tim Matson on guitar. Yay! I'm real pleased with this band. I've had musicians that were better soloists and flashier and more commercial, but these guys seem to frame me better than any band. They seem to work well as a unit and behind me uh, better than anybody I've worked with in the past. And how do the members feel about playing with Mr. Stress? Well, it's very enjoyable. Playing with Stress is like playing, it's like an institution. Besides it being a lot of fun, you get the freedom to play what you feel, you know. You get to express yourself playing with the type of music you like to play. I like the steady work playing blues, which is uh, hard to get. Uh, it's, you, you don't get that feeling from playing anything else like uh, Top 40 or whatnot. It's wonderful dance music, and so it's popular with the people, and yet it's a sort of a creative uh, outlet, too. And uh, it just uh, never ceases being fun after all these years. The band put out one album in 1980 called Mr. Stress Live at the Euclid Tavern. And now, besides performing at the club regularly, Bill Miller spends most of his daytime hours as a TV repairman working at Coventry Audio and Video. I fix television sets, and that's my, uh, between the two of them, you get by. I'd say it's 20% uh, music, 80% television, I would say. Yeah. yeah, it's fascinating. It's all problems. Anything that doesn't work and to make it work is, um, is a challenge. There's no doubt about it. For anybody, mechanic, technician, uh, yeah, I don't give you salt. No, it's like solving Rubik's Cube. You know, a lot of people must like that because they sold a lot of them. So it's a, doing a puzzle is a, is a lot, and electronic repair is a, a puzzle. Take the kids' car, ride around town, till everybody put the kid. Look at what you need. Call it what you want, I call it messing with the kid. He told me you love me, baby, told me a lie. Loving you, baby, till the day I. 
Bill Miller come up with his stage name? The term Mr. Stress goes back to a psychiatric hospital. They used to use it as a code for when a patient's medication wasn't uh, keeping them under control. Just the same as they have Dr. Quick or Dr. Hart for a cardiac, they, they would call Mr. Stress for a uh, unruly mental patient. And over the years, people thought that was my name, so I just let it stand. Sometimes you're better off not letting people know who you are. So whether he's Bill Miller, the TV repairman, Mr. Stress, the performer, or just playing pinball before going on stage each night, he's the same man on stage as he is off. I just hope to keep doing it. I just hope to keep playing and, and hope that the guys don't leave. Hope that they, even if they find other methods of employment, the guys that are, uh, as they get older, they'll just keep playing it because they love it. And that was the whole idea. There's some critics in this town that would have you believe if you don't clean up in five years, you're supposed to quit. Well, hell, I got into it with the idea of having fun, not making a lot of money. I've had a hell of a lot of fun. first baby born in Cleveland on January the 1st in 1943. So if you'd like to help him celebrate his birthday as well as party on New Year's Eve, you can see him at the Euclid Tavern on University Circle and the Stress Band will be playing live starting at 10 p.m. Next up, a little different sort of music for the holiday.